Yo. So I have a question for you. Yesterday, something was brought to my attention. Okay. Um, Addison pulled me to the side yesterday. Yeah. And she's feeling some type of way with Ellie. Okay. In the sense of she, like, she says, like, Ellie doesn't talk to nobody. She's over there mm -hmm. doing her own thing. She doesn't get nobody parts. Um, okay. Do you have any type of feeling or any ill will? Or is there anything going on? Like, because I, I don't know what's happening right now. All right, look, uh, I'll be honest with you, Vinny. I've been kind of holding back for a little while on stuff. And maybe it's a reason behind partly with my absenteeism a little bit okay um i mean i talked to addison earlier on about about this and she kind of filled me in a little bit saying that she had a chat with you yeah and I, a couple of us kind of had the same feeling i don't i don't want any ill will i don't want any bullshit drama and shit like that mm -hmm. you know around the shop it's not good for business it's just for me i felt a little bit hard done by i felt like i invested quite a bit you very, did very early early on to this and i do care a lot about the shop i have a lot of respect for you and chip you know, mm -hmm. I really, I, I threw I threw a lot of bank wallet stuff to make sure you guys could keep going and keep things afloat around here. Yep. Not expecting anything back in return. Now, it's difficult for me to do the manager stuff because there was a lot of things I couldn't facilitate realistically just because of access. I couldn't, I couldn't use the bench. Uh, I couldn't, mm -hmm. you know, use the parts. I was, I'm a little bit apprehensive about even that house that we were at in Roy Lowenstein, you know, like Ari's house and all that. I tried to avoid going there. I never want to be the reason that somebody put a gun to the back of my head and walked into that property. I just felt a little bit, you know, sketchy about it. Okay. So, so when, when things started to unfold and then Ellie came along, I, I didn't know her. It was cool. Not exactly the most welcoming person, to say the least. I never really... I don't know her. I know everyone else in the shop. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would ring Ellie in days. Do you need me to bring her over the shop? How are things looking over, over there? And I get nothing for it. Um, I was like, okay, fine, cool. Wait, what do you mean you know, by I that? Pick, well, just, I, I never heard anything off her. She never talked to me about anything. Just, I just felt like I didn't want to be known. But I know everybody else in the shop. I mm -hmm. chat to everyone all the time. Um, I mean, I would ring Eli, I'd ring Allison. There was even plenty of times I was buying parts of Ellie, and I wasn't making any money down here because my interest was keeping the shop going. So even parts I had, I wasn't doing the repairs. I would, okay. I would ring Bones. I'd be like, look, I got some parts there. You take them. If you're holding them in the shop, take them. You can have them at cost price. Okay. Because I wanted to keep them there. I know I could stay here. I wouldn't care. It wasn't about the money. Um, so if the boys meant they had to make a few bucks to stay down here, then, then so be it. Mm -hmm. So I just felt then when, you know, she got manager, I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, grand. And then, you know, there have been times when you had said to me about talking to Chip about taking me on as a shareholder. And yeah. then all of a sudden, I walk in one day and Annie goes, I'm not just your manager. I'm your I'm your boss boss now. And I was like, who? That's what Ellie said at the top of the stairs. I just said, OK, oh, okay. congratulations. And I mean, everybody knows you, you two are very close. I mean, you're going to get everywhere together, you know? Mm -hmm. You do everything together. Well, we split um, everything. That's the reason why. Yeah. It's not about the split. It's just it's just how it looks to other people. Where it okay. seems very much like I I heard she broke up with her long term boyfriend, and then you two were spending a hell of a oh, lot of time hell, together. Oh hell! I don't want no relationship, brother. Get that through your fucking head. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm only saying how it looks, and I'm not the only person yeah. who said it. And I don't necessarily have a problem with it. It's the perception. <laughs> why is everybody so jealous? I don't get it. You know where people think things are being played favorites when there's yeah. been people around here for quite some time. So. Well, the That's... thing is, I want to make sure everything is right, right? Yeah. And I want, listen, I want, listen, I wanted you at the top, okay? And I'm not going to sit yeah. here and bullshit you, but mm -hmm. we had the choice between you, Ellie, and Max. I wanted yeah. you and Ellie. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Okay. And the thing is, is that I get where you're coming from. Like, you don't get to have a lot of time in the city, right? There's times that make you make the best with what I can. Yes, exactly. Yeah. The main mm -hmm. focus is to have somebody here at all times. Now yeah. I'm going to be real with you. The shit with Max, I'm not too comfortable with because I don't even know him. <laughs> it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we're on, we're on point. Okay. Yeah. I'm not saying he's a bad guy. No, I no, no. But twice, it's a simple fact. I, I, know I know you 10 times more and you put 10 times more ahead. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
-hmm. and I want to like I want to have you here like it, it, it not that it broke my heart right when yeah. you were like oh you know I'm doing like I noticed you doing more things with uh with the um the house and stuff and I'm like you know I want you to have fun I want you to do your thing but I honestly I in a way I wanted to fucking I wanted to like be selfish and have you here because of the, the what you put forward but in mm -hmm. the same breath I don't want to be selfish because I want you to be able to spread your wings yeah. and do what you want to do right absolutely, absolutely. so and that's my issue because like Steve I want like I want you here full on right like I would yeah do like I would definitely want you on full on 100%. The problem is is that I got a little thrown off when I noticed you doing a lot more stuff with like uh with B Barry's crew, right? And I'm like, yeah. well, he's trying to probably f like find a place, trying to find the family and that's totally okay. Yeah. So a, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, and I get that, but bro, we have a house. I want you mm -hmm. there for a reason. You put a lot of forward for this for this uh, mm -hmm. startup of the business. And I want you to be just as much as anybody else is here. Like you are like okay. one of the one people I want dedicated to the house. I want you to be one of the ded yeah. pe dedicated people that has the spreadsheets that if you make parts, you let us know what you have. You know, let you know yeah. like what you're selling, what you're moving. Be honest. I rather you over Eli because Eli is, I don't know him. Well, I know you, you've been with me since the fucking mm -hmm. beginning of time. Right? Yeah. So that's where I, I, I want to see myself. But the problem is when I have partners of Chip, Ellie, Max, what can I do? Because at the end of the day, can I put my foot down? Yeah, 100%. I will. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I, want, I, get you. I want things to just move copacetic. I want things to be good. And Absolutely. I just want to know, like, do, do you want to be fully on? Like, do you want to, like, put that work in, have that access I, to the house, bust your ass, get materials put everything in spreadsheets like let us know what goes in and out like what what do you, what do you see yourself doing I, I i think i would if it was the case that i have the access to that the thing was when it was like because of things with the house and understand the materials and when it would suit me across that that time frame early in the morning yeah i couldn't i couldn't do shit yeah you know what i mean that's why i was giving people my parts mm -hmm. the cost value just to keep the lights on for them yeah because that's the thing i mean addison seems like she's at the end of a rope with a little bit i was feeling a little bit at the end of my tether mm -hmm. you know i don't want to keep you know i don't want to keep shitting on your doorstep and saying, no i've got a problem with this but it was like you know i asked you you know can i get one of those benches even if it means that it takes me fucking twice as long to get a few parts together that we can do something with it i asked chip he's like no i'm keeping this one even Bro, though my I benches know you that guys i think still my apartment i think benches yeah. yeah yeah but even though you can use the advanced workbenches and then yeah. i said it to you and i'm not going to pester and say it over again so i asked you once and you said i gave it to ellie and i was kind of like okay you get me mm, I mean, and, did and, I? How, and how that looks i think i still have it in my apartment if i'm not mistaken which would be cool but it's just when i had asked you that day you said he gave it to her so i was just like oh you know what the fuck That's yeah, all yeah. I no, I, head, that, listen know? i definitely understand it listen i'm gonna be real with you between me and you mm. i'm doing things like this because i want to be able to spread my wings too right yeah. And I want to be with my boys and I want to not have to worry about God forbid me getting caught up in some bullshit, right? 100%. Between yeah. me and you, I always had a front, right? That's the way I've always operated. Maldini's was my front and Maggie was my CEO, okay? Yeah. I know you probably want to get your feet dirty someday, right? Yeah. I'm biding my time with things. Exactly. I'm not going to be a fucking idiot and go picking up so, fucking stupid felonies when it could uh, inhibit my career with stuff, you know? So it, me saying to myself, I know Steven wants to be probably, you know, spread his wings, seeing that the people you hanging out with, I want to do the same. Who can I yeah. know that won't be getting in trouble, right? Okay. And will be the face of it. Right. That's my so, outlook on it. If I, if I can make an honest judgment call on something like that, I think, you know, maybe it mightn't be the best for me like that if that's going to be something that's going to inhibit the business sometimes you know you need to have those people with a clean sheet right mm -hmm. and why do you so think i completely do you, understand yeah. that i'm under no disillusion i wouldn't want to take something on and then just be like hey look oh by the way i just fucking smashed someone with a crowbar and now i'm fucking looking at a felony i i think people like addison and stuff like that are very good but i think a lot of people from what i gather and chit chatting around addison's very kind of, see i'm okay between me and you i'm, I'm, not, I'm just using an example so yeah. this, hear me out but 
from what the chit chat and that's what I'm saying. I know a lot of people in the shop. I sit here and I chit chat with them all the fucking time. Mm -hmm. But what I see is the only person I would probably put that trust in for staying clean right now outside of Ellie would be <laughs> Jeremiah, to be truthful. He's a good fucking skin. Yeah, I, I would say so, arrow. yeah. He's straight as an arrow. You know what I mean? He's trustworthy and he sticks by his word. And he, I, I value him very closely to me as a friend. Yeah, no, I love He's Jeremiah. You and, and Jeremiah, he... my day one, straight up. Like, yeah, that, that's just how it is, you know what I'm saying? No idea. Me and him bash heads every now and again, but, you know, we still come back and gravitate to each other. He's yeah. a good guy, and he stays clean, and he stays out of trouble. And I don't think that's anything he wants to go down there. I don't see him affiliating himself with anybody, mm -hmm. at least for the foreseeable. See, my problem is his availability, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. That is our biggest fucking issue. Jeremiah, yeah. I listen, I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you when I tell you I sit here and try to, you know, try to do things for you guys to make sure you're around more. I do. Okay? You guys don't know it, but I do do shit like this, okay? Yeah. And it sucks because Jeremiah would be that that golden egg. He would be that perfect egg for the shop. But it's like Oh, absolutely. It's like I mean, his what the fuck do I do when I know he won't be here the all the he time? Does? Oh my god, like the standard of work he does, I mean the booklets he does, the, the the customer kind of rapport he has with people, he's a really good egg. And I think, you know, we I think I don't even think Wait, we lose someone like him, he's that loyal. Hold on. What happened? I got his three thousand material. Oh my god, you're the best. Okay. Sorry about that. All I right, thought no, I good, thought something listen, good, good. by the way, you need to be careful. Because Ellie just told me Mr. K got shot yesterday. Right. Ellie Over also what? told me that, uh, well, well, basically at war, Mosley is marrying them and her whole guild. Okay. Okay. And I think Dundee's on the fast track of losing his fucking mind and scooping up people. So we need to watch our backs here. Do we need to watch Dundee though? Dundee's he's fucking a lunatic. I love him. That's why I let him do what the fuck he wants, right? On these hours, right? He's fighting for the shop. But what I wanted to tell you is that you need to be careful because, I, like I said, I just got that cryptic message in Japanese, and it said this right. war, this this fight is pointless. Please let's resolve this. And some, I, I I don't even fucking know what it said. It's Yakuza shit. Yeah, yeah, I mm -hmm. can't be bothered. But I just want you to watch it back. Listen, I need yeah. to figure out a way, Stephen. I want you on completely with this, with this, right? Yeah. The thing is, how am I going to make you money? Right? Yeah. Here's my issue. We buy the materials, right? You can even do mm -hmm. buying materials also, right? Yeah. If we're buying the materials and you're distributing them to the, to the mechanics, right? We pay $3, right? And we charge mm -hmm. the mechanics 55. If, yeah. it, if it's a, literally a three-way split right now with me, Chip, and Ellie, do you know how much we make on each part? You were saying $3, $4 $3 a piece, right? Three dollars a part. Per person, right? How do I yeah. make you money? That's, my, I, that's I, I where understand. I'm lost right now. So I think I think depending because I mean I sold one down here at Toe and Lockpick. I've I've been building up my reputation with Toe because that's that's my side hustle. When I'm going to chit chatting with people, I'm doing it in the tow truck. Um, I mean my reputation. I got about just over 300 stars with them, so okay. it's getting there. Okay. Um. So the thing is, it's about diversifying what we offer as a service, I suppose, with things with the likes of low lockpicks and crowbars. What's what's going on with that? I mean, because we have seen Joseph them. probably in about a week. Joseph, and a half. that's why do you think this whole thing happened? Joseph, Mary got Joseph and chopped his finger off and, and he has a plate in his head and everything now. What? She did that to fucking Joseph? Yeah. That guy and, wouldn't hurt a fucking fly. And then, yeah, because, because of the fact that she, he, he, so he, she so-called promised him a crowbar. Okay. Right. Um, while he just said, I'll try to get you one. Never mm -hmm. promised. Um, she then progress to not understand that we have a contract with joseph a binding contract mm -hmm. with the lawyer seen by the supreme court that if he would sell a lock a sell a crowbar outside he could get he could get sent to court so all he did was say hey mary i have a contract with Vinny's shop yeah. all you have to do is call Vinny and he'll get you one i talked to Vinny, and he'll take care of it i said not a problem okay i call him up i call her up i say hey mary if you want just come down to the shop and we have a crowbar waiting for you you know, you just have to pay, you have to pay retail on like whatever the cost is, right? We're not yeah. even going to charge you extra. Sorry, I don't have time for you. Hangs up the phone. Chip tries to call yeah. her. Same thing. Don't have time for you. Don't call me. Hangs up. Right. She specifically wanted this thing handed from Joseph and she felt that it was entitled to her for free. 
when they yeah. were 20 grand. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. So the motherfucker I am, I seen her little, uh, her little dragon pet over there with his little tail. I ended up giving him a broken crowbar. I said, yeah, you can go give that to Mary now. <laughs> she threatened Joseph. We actually went to the cops. We filed police reports. I specifically told in the police report that she said he was, she was going to chop his finger off. Right. And then he was in hiding. She, they end up catching him on Friday. They beat the liver fuck out of him, took everything off of him. He has a metal plate in his head. He has a cast around his head, and he also has no pinky. This is why everything transpired to where it is today. Now I find out <sighs> last night. Right. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. Was I a motherfucker last night? Did I blow up a fucking house? Yeah, we did. You know? Wait, what? You know that picture Dundee someone posted? Me, someone, someone told me about her yard being on fire and shit on fire. Yeah, 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 that was us. Okay? Right. Because you okay. understand why I need, a, you, I need a clean face for the shop and that's why I chose Ellie? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I so, so Look, I went I there. Said, I, yeah, go on, go on. I went there with the boys and we blew the fucking house up. Okay? Got you. Now I find out when I went to sleep there. I went to sleep in, uh, in uh, an alley. I find out from Ellie this morning that Mr. K got shot last night. And then Jaeger got stabbed. So I'm assuming that it's a fully on war now, right? Okay. This is why okay. you need to watch your back. 100%. Um, Are we worried about shit landing on the doorstep here? Yeah, no, probably. Yeah, That's it's it. probably going to happen. Uh, so we need to hold it down. Yeah. All right. Getting, okay. Let's circle back to the other shit. How sure. could, How? I think I have something for you. Okay. If you want a management position, right? Right mm -hmm. now, I physically can't do to make you anything money on parts, right? We buy the, we buy the material, you distribute them to the, the workers, you get everything into the documents if you want to do that. What okay. I think I could do for you, how would you feel to run lockpicks and crowbars through the shop? I mean, it, I, uh, my, my take on this would be, I think most of our mechanics should have access to that. I think that needs to be on top of the side of the repairs as an additional How about of you, you take care of that? It's the availability is the issue with that. As that's long as we problem. have materials. That's, that's, what we come, that's what we come back to. So what I was thinking, right? Mm -hmm. You've secured the property, right? The business property. We have the property. We have the benches and everything. Okay. So it's just the work property, right? It's not necessarily... I know we had said stuff about people living there. I'll be honest with you. I don't have any interest in living there. I'm, I'm happy in my apartment, my studio apartment. Mm -hmm. It does me fine. It's easy to clean. It's easy to maintain and it's cheap. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is something not too dissimilar to the house down in Roy Lowenstein that was Barry's and the boys, right? You know, there's a, there's a cheap ass fucking vehicle with the key there. People get put on the panel. People can go in, they can get the parts. People can log it, put it in the emails, whatever spreadsheets that the mechanics start to actually get that manufacturing because we need to alleviate some of that manufacturing pressure off you, off Ellie, mm -hmm. off Chip. And if the problem then is availability, like it's not every day I can just roll out of the bed and get to work. So. We need to have yeah. it that it is a business property that people can go and manufacture the parts. Fuck it, whatever. Even if they're getting the materials or if they're contributing to the overall cost and they say, look, I remember I worked at Harmony years ago and I used to get materials and then we'd put it in. I'd let Jordan know, Jordan, you know, I bought 1200 of this, blah, blah, blah. Boom, it would come back to me in a couple of days. At least I know I'd be guaranteed to get the money back okay. if I'm not getting it up front. And it just, it just worked. And I know the senior mechanics then were the ones that used to do the manufacturing. Mm -hmm. so whether maybe you want to do on a path of responsibility, but I think with the way things are at the moment, people need to have access to that property, be on the panel and having a way to get in, to get that stuff going, because the worst thing is standing around with our hands out waiting for shit to land on it. That's what holds things up. I there's actually no like that idea the... a lot. I appreciate yeah, that there's, idea. There's, there's nothing worse than when we get the phone call and I have to break some of the bad news that I just don't have shit there to work. Because I was a little bit disheartened then, you know, I Steve, you want to be honest like, with you about something yeah. though? The problem is me with trust with people. Absolutely. Trust and is you know what you, 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 you know what happened to me when we first started this up, how I got robbed for over 12 grand back then and how much money that was, right? Oh, when absolutely. We, so trust is a big factor. It's always been a big factor on me. Mm -hmm. I could truly say I trust you. I trust yeah. Chip and I trust Ellie and Jeremiah. Those are the only four people I trust. 100%. Now, how do I, I have how do you cover that? Yeah. Yes. That is my, that's my main fucking issue. So is, let's just take time to think about that then. Let's just take a little bit of time. You know, you know the way something you could sleep on it and boom, something comes to you the next day. Talk about it with Chip. Just kind of mull it over. Just think about it. 
I think mm. it's probably the most practical thing to alleviate this thing of you having to roll out of bed, crusty hide, driving your bro, car. I do it every morning, bro, like 6 a fucking a.m., bro. Yeah, that's, that's no good for no one, boss. You know what I mean? I don't want to have to see you do that, especially when I can be standing out here for two hours and nothing going on when I can go over and do that. Now, as I said, the problem is it's not the guarantee I can do that every day. That's, that's my issue, to, too. 100%. So <sighs> we're going to have to try and work on some middle ground where this isn't a problem. That we can just just make it a little bit easier even if it's a little bit easier it's it's progress right yeah so you know jeremiah is a good skin 100 percent would trust him through and through you know what i mean yeah the same way if trust me cool but the same way jeremiah sometimes runs the same trouble i do so we need to think about what way do we work around this we'll just think about it i'll i'll put it on my dinner plate that's what i'm going to eat for the day and we're going to think about this and then we'll bounce off it because you know if we if we brainstorm it maybe with a few people someone might come to some sort of thing that we're just i not really want right to do that idea of of the it, like buying a, a scooter property, right we, yeah we don't want bullshit we, we don't, don't want bullshit, bullshit at all no fucking trouble at the house we don't want anybody fucking leaving weed in the fucking place yeah it's a business property and then if things progress to where we can then eventually get this place renovated we can get some benches i here. already have bro i, I put all i put out probably over almost 30 grand into the house easy over 30 grand Absol absolutely I, I believe it i believe it but what i'm saying is until it gets to the point where then we can alleviate off that property and things can start to get a bit more central in here in the garage well then you know you can start to change whatever direction you want to go with that property right yeah i mean you know if you want to do your bit of shit on the side whatever it is cool but if it's kept clean and it's just solely for that Here's what well, I'm going to do. Go. I'm going to mm -hmm. go buy a scooter. All right. I'm mm -hmm. going to get a key and put it in there. Yeah. I I need you to text me your state ID. Because yeah. Mr. K is the only one that could add you on. Okay. Sure. Text me your state ID. I'm getting you on that panel. So Got tonight, you. when if you wake up, when you take a nap and wake up late, you know, your next day, tomorrow, you, you mm -hmm. get shit going. You will have that vehicle there. You will have that key there. Just start doing mm -hmm. production. I'm going to tell Ellie to get you to spreadsheets, and I want you handling this for me. So I don't have to wake up at the fucking crack of dawn every morning anymore to take care of this shit. My biggest issue is fucking trusting people. That is my fucking problem. And I well, don't trust it. It's, nobody at all. Yeah. Well, listen, if there's nothing else in there, that's what I'm saying about keeping it clean. All materials, our money is materials, materials yeah. brother. All, my, all yeah, our oh, money yeah, is no, parts. I get it. I get it. I and get that's it. the main it. thing what everybody will be touching. Now, <laughs> how do I know? Yeah. You know, you, I, 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 it's beyond a doubt. I trust you 100%, right? I know you won't yeah. fuck me over. You'll put everything in the spreadsheet. You'll, we'll see what mm -hmm. we're owed. You know, whatever you put in, you'll be owed. And I think, I think this right. is a great start for you and Jeremiah to have this access. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. So, um, in that same breath, when it comes to logging stuff, I've, I've been wanting to, but it hasn't worked with actually logging receipts of our repairs. So we have a yeah. track record. Even if even it's for giving up to City Hall to say, look, we're pulling in 25 repairs a day across these hours. That's a record of it. The receipt thing is perfect that we have there, but it just will not let me submit any receipts. Yeah. Addison has the same problem. We're not the only ones, whether it's access or what. But it's the same way, you know, whether we can utilize the email. Spreadsheets are great if we can all get access. But the same way again if it comes to the bench that we keep in record of what we repair what's on the bench so if stuff goes missing fingers can be pointed straight away yeah you know um so whether we go right i take a quick snap of the box with all the materials and say all right we've got a hundred across the board of every part you know we made 15 parts we should have 15 fucking bits of materials left so what's going on there something's not adding up Here's you know what, what I'm mean? gonna do right now. Uh, my goal today, mm -hmm. what I'm gonna be doing. Hopefully, I don't get fucking kidnapped while I'm doing this, because I gotta yeah. go down to that fucking shithole to buy a scooter. Uh, I'm gonna get the scooter. I'm gonna get the key. Put it in there. I'm gonna tell Ellie to put the the material distribute every all the pot thing in the in our chain, so you guys can. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm gonna have there you. There's a material bench. There is a material bench chain that we have there. Okay. You know what I mean. Um, so I seen uh, Joseph putting in his own stuff there. That's okay. okay. It just means that I can just say, boom, Vinny, Ellie, whatever. I bought X amount of materials. I spent this much on it. I bought it at three apart, four apart, whatever. But the same way, again, I've been talking to people about materials. So like there is stuff that I am doing even when you're not around. But sometimes the prices just aren't what we need. Yeah. Like I won't, I won't buy unless it's three across. Oh, this motherfucker I mean? did from the union tried charging me five today. Yeah, but that's that's honestly that's the average going rate at the moment. No, the right part. now because of the war, that's why it used to be yeah, four. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. But that's what I'm saying. But when that happens, that fucks with our whole margins, right? 
So that's why we need to have that maximum ceiling. And then if we can't, Chad, then I ain't gonna we lie. Screwing ourselves in the hole with it, right? I appreciate so this meeting so with Steven. He's making me feel a lot more at ease. Up to five. That we Steven, he's making me feel a lot more at ease, bro. Let's say it's nine hundred. I'm not. I'm just. I have to say, bro. So that's that's what we might run into because I think the main thing is that we keep things ticking over. We keep things ticking over. We keep the parts there because while yeah. we have to make money, I'm not worried about what's going into my bank account at the moment. Money's cheap to me at times. It helps you do things, but it isn't the be all end all. Honestly, just, I want to I want to thank you for this meeting, by the way, because you actually I feel a lot more relieved with shit. Yeah, look, as I said, look, I don't have any personal issues with anybody. I don't want shop drama. I just yeah. want this shit to work. I've said that from the start. I don't give a fuck. I just want it to work. Yep. All right, let's you do know, it. We're going to drive all these fucking all these fucking fake ass shops around the place into the fucking ground because they're already dropping off like flies. Yeah. They I'm can't maintain Jeremiah, it. We way. have to go through the trenches on this shit. You know if Jeremiah is around? I haven't talked to him today. All right. Well, Steven, I fucking appreciate you and let's get this yeah, ball rolling, brother. I needed this Listen. conversation because I was so afraid to take that step forward because mm. all the shit we've been through at the shop that now I, I feel a lot more at ease with you. So not just you, meaning yeah. like you, I always trusted you. So yeah, listen, the feeling's mutual. We just got to work through the shit and push through the fucking mud yeah. in the trenches a bit, you know, all right. we'll get there. We'll get there in the end. I huh. think we've, I think out of all the shops and everything that all these little pop-up shops and refer to it as that, if we just push through this and stand the test of time, it's really going to mean the difference. Beautiful. It's really going to mean the difference. Well, right, let's fucking get this going. This I'm going to go get this shit going now for you. I'm going to get everything set up for you. You have it. You'll have access. I'm going to get you added to the panel. As soon as Mr. Okay. K wakes up, I have your state ID. And uh, you'll be good tonight if you're around when not, yeah, I'm not around. Then... Look, look, baby steps with it, right? We'll get Jeremiah. We'll see what we think about other people. He you need to give me feedback on other people. I need yeah. you for that. Nobody else yeah. but you. Give me feedback well, look, on Eli. Give me feedback on Addison. This is what I need. Yeah. You're going to well, be I my see, guy. I see, I see the core people around the shop between me, Addison, Eli, Jeremiah, as far as locking shit in and consistency. You can look at people that we have on the roster and they're seldom seen, never seen people. You know, it's like, look, I know. Chad, I'm actually you happy you about this. Your fucking chaos puppet. I get that. I get that. All right. Mm -hmm. And you want to do it operating out of the shop. I, I worry about him bringing shit to our doorstep. It's your call to make, boss. It's Wait, your with fucking who? business. With Dundee, okay? He's a fucking Dundee lunatic. will not be in the house, I can promise you that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> You're I'm out of your fucking was, mind. There was, there was six other people <laughs> Give me one second. Him, <laughs> six other people 